Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will be learning how to use linear gradients to make cool graphic designs. If you have not watched the tutorial on linear gradients, kindly watch it first before watching this video. Let us first see the HTML document. After watching previous tutorials, you must be well aware of how to create HTML document and link it with a separate CSS sheet. Hence, we directly start with the HTML document in hand. We start by first creating a division tag inside the body tag and giving it a CSS class named container. This container is going to occupy the size of entire screen. We now move on to the CSS section. We already know the use of asterisk operator hence we shall skip this part and directly move to targeting the container. Using the dot operator we target the container. We set the width and height as 1302 pixels and 664 pixels. These values may change for different systems. Hence use them accordingly. Now we set the background image as linear gradient. We have already seen how to use linear gradients in previous tutorials. First we specify the angle which in this case is 90 degrees. We then set the color teal as 50%. Wait a second. What is that 50% for? If this question has struck you, then you are thinking in the right direction. This 50% in front of the name of color indicates that the color teal is going to spread up to 50% of the size of the container. After this you see that the next color is line which again has 50% in front of it. What does this mean then? Well since the color teal has been specified before color line, with 50%, color teal will precede color line. But since color line has been specified with 50% after color teal, color line will now start from where color teal stops at 50%. If you are still confused, let us move to HTML document and run this with live server. There you go. We can clearly see that the first 50% of the container size is taken by color teal whereas the next 50% is taken by color line. In this manner, by using multiple colors with different percentage values, you can make different types of designs. We can also go a step ahead and make the designs even more interesting by manipulating the background size. To do this just set background size to 40 pixels along width as well as height. Run this in live server and check the beauty. You can see that by decreasing the background size to 40 by 40 pixels you have created a beautiful repeated pattern. You can now alter the parameters of linear gradient like the angle and the colors with different percentages to get more intricate designs. Congratulations! You have learned an interesting and fun topic which will help you create your own cool designs.